Good afternoon and welcome to Blind Bills of Blind Prime. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to be covering the Advent Calendar 3D puzzle given to us by Dr. Helga Kraft. And I have it upside down. There we go. And today we're going to be covering day number six. I've already talked about the Spike Ball of Doom, the Toblerone column, the um, the D8 of Destruction, the oh, what shape are we? Oh, yeah, the D6 of Desire, and uh, the Pumpkin of Possibilities. So now we're going to move over here to whatever shape we're going to get today. What shape is it? What shape? Oh, Lord, what is this? Okay, let's see. Are you. Oh, is it a D20? Ooh, let's pop that back in place. Okay, let's see. How many, how many sides do you have, sir? Oh, you're a weird one. One, two, three. Okay, so three on each side there, and then three. There, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's four times three is twelve. So that's twelve right there. And then four added to twelve is eighteen. No, sixteen. So that's sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen sides. Ooh, wow. Wow. Eighteen sided dice. I like to roll for this in a DD game. I think it's pretty neat. They, uh, it's got a lot of hollow triangles in it where the, uh, you know, where the shape just wasn't going to work right unless they did that. So I think this is a neat little dice for sure. I would like to see this in Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. A D18 would be just very interesting. It would change up the game. Okay. So let's set the uh, box down here over the side. And now let's disassemble it and try to rebuild it and probably screw up somewhere in between. All right. We're gonna push this button and we're gonna pull out the locking piece. That's pretty easy. There's not easy sugar cat. There's not easy sugar cat. Locking pieces. Yeah. Sugar doesn't care. Sugar is discovering just how enjoyable it is to sleep on this table. Like cream's discovered long ago. Okay. No, sugar. Because I, I, I petted you doesn't mean you, you should start destroying my stuff. Uh, don't do that. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do we pull this apart? How do we pull this apart? This is a weird one. This is a weird one. Wait, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out how to break it. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Cool. So you just take a uh, piece on the back end that the, the locking bit fit into, the smaller end of it. That piece comes up first. We're gonna set that to the middle. Beside that, and I'm wondering if this also has six pieces. It seems like six pieces is the uh, the going rate here on this. Oh, and these two pieces slide apart from one another. That's pretty neat. Okay. Do you have any other pieces hiding amongst you? Is there a piece that slides apart? Oh, that's weird though. That is weird. Oh, it's because of all these weird little shapes and triangles. It makes the shape feel incredibly odd when you remove a piece. Oh, this one's this one's a uh, this one's troublesome. Okay, so that's how it fits back into place. Okay, that's uh, that's a bit interesting. So we're gonna set that off to the right because that's the right hand side of this thing. But judging by how I'm looking at it, it'll spin around for you. There you go. Oh man. Okay. Now we're gonna take away the other side. I think maybe. Oh no no no. Now this one actually raises up and it goes up and down. Okay. And then this piece here is on the side, and then that's it. So we've got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces again. So let's go ahead and try and put it together. It's actually not a bad little, little puzzle box. Not a bad little puzzle box at all. And of course, you know, I put it down and I thought about something else, and now I'm not really sure exactly how this piece went. I do that every time. I just, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Okay. So that's not how that piece goes in. That's how the piece goes in right there. Okay. And then you're going to be just on the side. Yeah, you're just a side piece there. Let's, let's, let's just slide you in place. Okay. Come on. Hold everything together. That's the biggest negative with these things. There's just a point where they don't really want to work together at all, and you've just got to figure out how to fix that. Okay. All right. Now piece is going to go there because it's cut. So all we have to do is just slide you in, right? right. It, seems, it seems like that's a possible thing to do. All we need to do is just figure out how to slide it in. Ah, that, that, that would be important. All right. Let's see. There's a little nodule there, but there's no nodule on that side to fit it into. Hmm. But there is a little nodule there. Let's see. Oh, nuts. I'm kind of disconnected this. Okay. Let's see. So this piece is supposed to go here. Like so I think, right? Yeah, there it is. Cool. Locked into place, kind of. And then this piece is supposed to go and kind of complete a corner. It's got enough to complete one edge. It's just like that one, but it's not like that one. And I'm guessing it's supposed to go here. Yeah, because that, that means that piece would fit in well with that piece there. And uh, that, that isn't right. All right, moving on to figuring this out in another way. Oh, wait, there it is. That piece fits in there really well. That piece doesn't fit in there quite so well, but it does match the spot there. So maybe, maybe that's how it's supposed to go. So let's, let's try the side bit that we put off to the side. Oh, that fits in pretty well. I didn't even mean to do that, so just instantly like that. Okay, punch this together. There's a gap. There's a gapage. And I don't think that gapage can be fixed because if this guy slides down, yeah, that gapage is wrong. This guy should just slide down and live in his home. No, he doesn't slide down and live in his home. No, he doesn't. All right. So that means that this piece is wrong. And these pieces are wrong too. Let's see. All these pieces are fitting together there. You're, you're correct. All the way around, you're correct. Yeah, I like that. I like you being correct. Now let's see how you work over here. And, uh, right, come on. There it goes. That's, that's better. That feels more correct in there. So there's a hole in that. I hope that can be fixed up somehow. And there's a missing piece in that corner. Hmm. Do we have anything to fill that corner? I don't know if we do. I don't know how this piece is going to fit in place, maybe. Ah, ah, I think I see how that piece is supposed to fit in there. You're supposed to go through here, just slide it in. Come on. Don't slide you in. Oh, wait. Oh, nope, nope, that's wrong. Okay, that was wrong. Uh, that was not how it was meant to go. I thought it was. It was wrong. All right. Man, I just say, starting every morning off by working on one of these puzzles is a great way to start your day, that's for sure. Just getting the neurons flowing, man. This is getting, this is some good mind exercise, that's for sure. And uh, maybe you're supposed to fit in on this side. Maybe, maybe that's right. So let's see, let's see. Let's slide it in through that corner there. Right, and then maybe, oh, look at that, look at that. That's, that's kind of right. That's kind of right. Um, I don't think that is completely right, but you know what? We're pretty close to correct here. We are, we are, we are getting close to correct. And that's, that, that's a good thing. Sadly, we are nowhere near being correct. Though. Ah, nuts, something fell. Okay, well, I got you. All right, so let's take all these pieces apart again, and let's figure out where we screwed up. Because we screwed up somewhere, people. We screwed up somewhere, and I just disassembled everything, and you know, we're just not going to. Let's see. Okay. Um, I know that's not how that goes. Hmm. So I've got to get these two pieces combined again. And let's find their shapes. Okay, here's your shape, there's your shape. And your shape and this shape are supposed to combine at a place, at a point, and a nodule. I'm not finding that nodule. Wait, maybe that's the nodule. Okay, that. Yeah, maybe. No. These is so weird. These pieces, they're all kind of the same on the inside, so it is a little weird. It's still difficult to try and mash everything together and get the correct shape, because there's there's so many ways to do this wrong. Uh, and, you know, the more the more edges added to this, then the wronger you can make it. Uh, wronger. Wrongers. Oh, maybe I did that
Maybe I did that right. I'm not sure though. That's a that, that's a lot of wrong I'm feeling in there. I don't think any of that can be you know, fixed. So let's just let's just put that there because maybe you're not supposed to fit in there like that. Let's, let's see. All right, so this piece is one of the final pieces that comes in and gets blocked out. And this piece is it lit beside it, or does it actually not lit beside it? Hmm. You know, I'm thinking that uh, these these are some really crazy pieces, and uh, this is you know, maybe really boring for some of you to watch. And I, I don't mean to bore you. I'm just trying to raise awareness for the blind. The alternative means and methods in that influence. I'm kind of showing you how a blind person's going to fill fart around with a 3D puzzle until they figure it out. Because even though the sighted person's probably looking at it, all oh, right, right, the orange piece, the white piece, the red piece, are supposed to go like that. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah it works out well for you. So I'm, I'm here to show you how it may be a little more difficult for people who, uh, who can't see, and uh, show you some of the difficulties we go through to help you understand more about you know, the blind and uh, how you can go about helping the blind. And what does that mean to help the blind? What does it mean to help the blind to be? It means just being there if we need help. That's kind of all, all, all it is required of you. If you see a blind person, go, hey, do you need any help? And if the blind person goes, nah, I got it, and just walk away, you did your job, good job, you know, it's successful. If you walk over to the blind person, it's like, yeah, if you can help me out find this thing, and go find the thing for the blind person. You know what? It's difficult for us to ask for help. You know, we don't know the type of stranger that we're talking to. So sometimes people we talk to cannot have us, you know, cannot have the best intentions for us. Okay? So I'm finding these weird cups in this plastic in different parts, and these weird cups are really annoying me because they're not really meshing well with anything. Except that piece meshes, does it? That's that's not it. That's not it at all. But that does mesh. That, I mean, that, that did connect things, and it does look right. So maybe maybe that piece combination right there is correct. And if that piece combination is correct, then that means we've got to find a piece to lock. No, oh, are you the locker? No, the locker's way over here. You're probably the piece I need right here. Let's see. If this piece comes down, and let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. You throw this piece into the middle. Does it come in? Ah, oh, crap. No, it's, it's stupid. It doesn't want to do that. It's, it's a stupid piece. I don't like it. Okay, let's see. Do you want to slide in there? Maybe. Does that does that fit the spot? No, no, no. That doesn't fit the spot at all. It, it feels like it should. It really feels like it should. And it doesn't. That, that does make it a little too wide there. And there's that cut on the other side. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, unless something will make any sense with that. So let's just put this piece back where we found it. Put it here on top. I think we had it on top, right? How did we have this piece? How did we have this piece, ladies and gentlemen? Oh no. How did we? Which way have we turned this stupid thing? Because that's not right. That's not right at all. Oh no. No oh, no. Okay. Let's see. Doo -doo. There's those pieces. There's that piece. All right. All this stuff is lined up kind of correctly, but not correctly because that isn't meshed up well. All right, you're lined up, and yeah, all this is lined up there. This piece is got to go somewhere, and it doesn't want to go anywhere because there's a cut there. There's a cut in it that makes it want to fit into a specific spot. It's just that I can never find that specific spot. Maybe it's over here. Maybe the specific spot is over here. All right. Maybe. No. Maybe. Uh -huh. Is that is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So so that piece is found and found. There's there's. It's all everything's lined up. Everything's lined up for that. So we're we've got three pieces together, ladies and gentlemen. Three pieces together. That means we're we're, we're cooking with gas here. Now if we could just figure out how to get the rest of this thing together, we'll be uh, we'll be all right. We will be all right. If uh if, if any of this made more sense. So let's see. Uh maybe maybe you're supposed to now let's see. Where's that weird? Okay, so you've got a weird cut in the side of you, and that means you're gonna want to fit in a place that also has a weird cut. That's got a weird cut. That's got a weird cut. No, no, that doesn't really have too much of a weird cut there. But it does have a weird cut there. And do you have any more weird cuts anywhere else? Any more weird spots that don't make any sense? Because they are weird. No, no. Okay. All right. So that means that no, that that cut is the wrong shape. This cut needs to fit into some places. That have holes. So let's see. Let's figure this out. All right. So then this piece is going to come around there, maybe. No, it's not going to be that piece. It does feel like it needs to be on the side, but there's no telling. Uh, this piece is just kind of an annoying. Oh, what is this down here? What is this down here? That's not lined up. That's actually all not and all sorts of messed up down here. Oh lord. All right. So this has now become the D18 of um, eraser. Yeah, the D18 of eraser. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'll come up with a uh, a, a, catchy, a catchy name for this one uh, because of how you know, it's been giving me trouble. Oh wait, wait, wait. Those all lined up. Okay, so, so maybe we've got something that finally lined up there, because I was using the wrong piece down there. But these line up perfectly. The cuts are all matched up. Okay, that means this piece now has got to come in here and attach to something. Attach to something piece. Where are you going to attach to? Do you want to fall into that hole down there? Huh? Is that where you want to go? Is that where you need to go? Actually, it kind of feels like that's where it needs to go. Okay, cool. So that piece is out. Yay. And that. Hmm. Now let's see about this piece. This piece can come in here, and uh, I think it's going to want to go onto the side there. So let's split those pieces apart. I'll slide you in. And how are you going to work there? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Slide in. Mesh up together. Don't, 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 don't you do it to me. You're doing it to me. You're doing it to me. You're falling apart on me. I'm trying to slip this one piece in. Don't you? Don't you do it? You're doing it. You're doing it. Okay. Um. Crap. Crap. Pull this piece out before everything else falls apart. Oh, all right. Let's put this piece out. I don't want to lose the shape I look like. Okay. So that that piece didn't work there. That piece didn't work there at all. That was a uh, that was a terrible decision on my part. And uh, this piece is just crazy. Uh -huh. Okay. So. There comes a point in these videos where I just have this and it's just urge to give up because I'm thinking to myself, there's a time limit on this video and these videos aren't really getting watched at all right now. Uh, so I don't want to make any more time. We're going to give this one last go and then I'm going to give up for the day and uh, I'll talk to you about the solution maybe one day. But uh, at the moment, my main thought is I'm losing subscribers and I'm losing people's interest in this channel and I thought doing this three puzzles would increase interest. All right, I'm giving up. I can't figure it out. Uh, that's, that is another puzzle that I'm going to have to spend a couple of hours retooling and refiguring. This, this is a complicated one. And uh, I don't want to waste any more of your time. And I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode, and uh, I'll let you know what the finished product is tomorrow on tomorrow's video. But uh, until then, have a great day, and Merry Christmas to you. Until next time.